Hey guys, T-Bone Animate here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows Whistler build 2202 in VirtualBox. Now this should also work on VMware or real hardware or particularly any other operating system emulation software. Now just as a little overview, Whistler was the code name and beta name of Windows XP. And specifically for build 2202, there was debate on whether this build was a post RTM build of Windows 2000 or if it was a really early Whistler build. Now I like to consider it both because pretty much everywhere in the operating system that you can actually find is Windows 2000. But there is also evidence that this is a really early Whistler build. There are files that have a string of NTC2, I think that's what it is, which refers to Whistler. And if you were to go to additional drivers for printers, you will find that there are drivers for an operating system called Windows 2001, which was the projected release date of Whistler, or to be called Windows XP. And also there's a secret startup menu that I don't know how to access, but if one of you knows how to access it, please tell me in the comments. But anyway, let's begin the tutorial, shall we? Now you're going to want to create a VM. Now you can name it Whistler Build 2202 or Whistler 2202 or Windows Whistler Build 2202 or the latter. And you're going to set your version as either, I prefer you to set your version as either other Windows, Windows 2000 or XP. I prefer 2000. Now you can go ahead and leave, you can leave the RAM as it is, but I like to set it to something like 512 megabytes. You can leave the disk space, but I'm just going to set it at 10 gigabytes. All right. Now, I'm going to set a floppy image here because now uh, do not do what I'm going to do. Do not set your ISO in like what I did right here because I'm going to show you what happens if you boot off the CD of this build. Now yeah it's going to say Windows 2000 in pretty much everywhere in the operating system like I mentioned earlier but watch what's going to happen. The VM blue your thing will blue screen. Yeah you cannot boot off the CD. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a bootable MS-DOS CD or floppy image. Now I'm going to boot off this Windows 98 second edition ISO, which is bootable. Or you could install MS-DOS 6.22 and change the date from there. Now you're going to want to, we're going to partition the hard drive using F disk, primary DOS partition. Yes, I want to use the maximum available space. All right, exit F disk. Now you're gonna to want to reboot the VM. You can either reset it or just use a control alt delete like what I did. Now we're gonna let it all load up. Now you wanna go D, CD, Win 98, or Win 9X if you're using a bootable Windows ME CD. Or, no, 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 no. Don't do what I did just there. Do not say setup. Format C colon. And we'll format the partition, which is 10 gigabytes. And you can enter a volume label if you want to. Now exit out of that directory. And now you can replace, you can remove that. And then you're gonna wanna now enter your Whistler build 2202 ISO. Now, actually, wait. Before you do that, you're gonna change the date to February. 2nd of 2000. Now, just make sure the date's correct like that. And then you're going to go 
TDI386 and type in WinNT. Enter. Now, it's going to copy files from your CD. It said, yeah, like I said, it says Windows 2000. And I'll get back to you. Now, don't use Smart Drive. Now, I'll get back to you once this process is done. All right. So, this portion of setup has just been completed. It will bring you the, with, up with this screen. Now, press Enter. Do not boot off the CD. All right. So now, it says Windows 2000 setup. Because it has actually started the installation. So now this time it should not blue screen. Like what it did earlier. See? Perfect. So now it's going to say Windows 2000 installation. Well it's not really Windows 2000. Now you already have a partition. FAT32. We're going to convert it to NTFS. Now yes we want to do that. So now it's going to examine your disk and it's going to copy over installation files. Now I would skip this part, but it's going really fast. So yeah, now I'll press enter to reboot your VM or computer, whatever you name it. So now it's going to say starting Windows 2000. I'm just going to call it, I'm going to call it Windows 2000 sometimes. I'll probably call it Whistlers at some time because this is actually Whistler. All right, see, now it's going to convert to NTFS. And uh, I'll get back to you once this is done. All right, so once the, all that's done, it will come into this part of setup where it will say Windows 2000 setup. Now, yeah, it's probably going to take a bit to install your devices. So, yeah, I'm going to have to skip again. All right, so it has just finished installing devices. Now you're going to want to select your region and keyboard layout. Now enter your name and organization if you want. So yeah, you, basically you're just doing the Windows 2000 setup, but you don't have to enter a product key. Now it's going to install networking components. Some time. And then it should act start the actual installation process where it copies the files and does a few other good stuff. Now, yes, yeah, like typical, and just say next. Now it's going to copy files. Let's just say configuring com plus. So yeah, it says, yeah, like I said. Like I said a couple times, it's just going to say Windows 2000 pretty much everywhere in the operating system. So yeah, just let this do its thing and uh, again, I'll be back once this is done. Alright, so the Whistler Build 2202 installation has just finished. Now press enter. Now you don't really have to remove the CD like it says, but it'd probably be best if you, if you do so. Uh, pardon that freeze. It just it was just uh, trying to get take the ISO out. So yeah, here's the good old Windows 2000 boot screen. Let it boot. There you go. Now you're gonna see SD Windows 2000 Professional, where SD refers to Source Depot, which is basically this. They were using Microsoft was, well, pardon my, pardon me losing my words. It's basically just referring to the source depot that they had been using for this time. And there's the good old startup sound. All right, now let's check Winver. They have Windows 2000 built 2202. Now, since this is a beta. Well, I would say it's going to try and change the date back, but yeah, you don't see it says evaluation copy expires, but I don't think it'll really ins expire, but to remove the time bomb, yeah, you're going to want to remove the time bomb 
just in case. So you're going to want to use this ISO called Tweak NT. Now go into your computer and go say Tweak NT. Remove the time bomb. Apply. Yep. Now you now restart your computer. And it should remove the time bomb. I should have I probably should have jump cut it there, but uh I didn't so. Cause it, it's a really fast process. Because this is a virtual machine. Now, yeah, do not worry if your date skip. Now, you don't have to worry about if your date skips back to today's date. As it should, you don't have to worry about product activation. Because they have not added that yet. So, after that's all done, feel free to install all your video and audio drivers. That, so we're gonna install guest editions. Just to give us some good old, those good old goodies. To give us that good old full color. Ah, pardon that audio glitch. If you get that audio glitch, see I don't worry about that. It'll fix it'll fix itself when you reboot. Yeah, you can feel free to take out your ISO. Now, installing VirtualBox Guest Editions will actually put your date back to today's date, but don't worry about that. As it, like I said, this does not require product activation, so you don't have, so it won't screw it up for you. I don't know what this is. I'm just going to insert it. Okay, so that was weird. But uh yeah. See so, yeah, I just changed the back. But yeah, that is the installation process for Windows Whistler build two two zero two. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys want to see more of these tutorials, tell me in the comment section of this video. Uh yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.